Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Brad Fusion here, and welcome back yet again to another Space Engineers video. In today's video, I will be going over the new conveyor system that was recently added to Space Engineers, which I will state that is currently a work in progress, which the developers have continuously said when this update has come out. That this update has included four new block types, which I will go over very quickly before showing you guys how they actually function. So, first thing is the collector. Now this actually looks like a garbage can and it actually functions very much like one as well. You actually throw your tools or resources inside of it and it will actually set it down the conveyor system. The next thing is the conveyor block itself which allows the resources to travel in multi-directions depending on how it's actually connected up. The next thing is the conveyor tube which allows for more of a streamlined uh, flow for your resources or, or tools. And then you have the connector which is still heavily a work in progress which will allow for ships and stations to connect and exchange ores i don't think they exchange power but we get to actually see as it does not actually connect ships just yet so i have a very very quick setup over here that uses everything other than the actual connector which i've got set up over here instead so as you guys can see we have a collector on the top that connects to a conveyor tube which then connects to a conveyor that allows the redirection of the ores to go along here then it turns yet again turns once more until it reaches the refinery then once it once it's been refined it will then flow through the tube again and then it will be split off into three different assemblers now it took me a while to realize how this part here actually works but i will get to that in a second so i have some ores on me right now which i will quickly drop into the actual collector and you will see it disappear and it will actually be inside the refinery right now as you guys can see it is currently refining the stone into gravel now you're probably wondering why hasn't the gravel gone to the actual assemblers yet and that is what took me a little while to realize so whilst you might imagine the conveyors allow for the resources to flow from point a to point b or to point c d and e if you actually have them connected up and this is true for the most part but when you have a refinery connected to an assembler via the conveyor tubes, it doesn't actually send the resource to that assembler straight away. What you actually have to do is you actually have to access the assembler itself and you drag the resource from the refinery that it's currently in up to your assembler. And that allows you to move resources between everything here. And since this assembler is connected to the other assemblers via the conveyors, I can actually drag it around to the other ones as well. So I can then drag it to the middle assembler, which now means it is over here, as you guys can clearly see. So that is how the conveyors actually work for the most part. And actually, like I said, it took me a little while to realize how that actually functions, but now, now that I realize that, it's actually kind of cool. I don't think you can drag it to anywhere where it isn't actually meant to be collected, or connected, sorry. I can drag it to the collector, which is a little weird, but nonetheless, it's still part of the system, so it kind of makes sense. So let me just leave this. Actually, no, I will pick this back up. Thank you very much. To show you guys how the connector actually works. So like I said, this is a very quick overview showing you guys how it functions. And the connector, whilst I wish it would actually connect ships just now, it doesn't do that just yet. But instead, it allows you to actually shoot out resources as the opposite of the collector that actually sucks up resources. So if I go over to the terminal over here and go here, you guys can see that the connectors are all lined up here. There's apparently three of them. Didn't think I had three. Oh, the one that's actually spawned over there by itself. My mistake, I forgot about that one. So if I turn these, if I go into the settings here for these, you can see that it has throw out, on or off, collect all, on or off. Now collect all hasn't seemed to work for me just yet. I'm not entirely too sure how to get it to work, but throw all does. So if I turn throw all on very quickly, and if I come out here, I will drop my resources into the little collector here, and you guys will see what will happen. Just drop it in here. Let's see it go down, and it should pop out through one of the connectors. And as you guys can see, there it is right there. Now I do have a bit of ore saved up as well to show you guys something interesting that actually happens. So let me go over to these little containers over here really quickly and grab out the stone I have inside of it. Actually, what I will do very quickly since we are in creative, create a duplicate of it. That way we have unlimited stone for this testing purposes. 
So when we come up here, I will drop the stone into the machine to see actually what will happen. And like I said, it is very interesting. So as I imagined, a big clump would come out. But instead, for this, it actually processes this at a certain size. And that size is 270. Or 270 kilos, sorry. Yes, each, each stone here is about 270 kilos. And it's the same for over here as well. So since the stone was so large, it actually split it up using the conveyors and actually processed it at smaller sized blocks which I thought was kind of interesting as well. The small ships connected does the same thing though it processes at 47 kilos instead of 207. So there you go that's a basic overview of how the conveyor system actually works all its pieces and I will actually show you guys just to say that it doesn't really work just yet. I will take this little ship up here with me that has its own connector system inside of it just to show you guys that it doesn't really work how you'd imagine though it does do something interesting now, as you guys have seen the connectors do drop resources which is fairly handy in certain circumstances and this circumstance as you could imagine would be rather quite handy so say you have a ship or a drill full of resources. Let me just get rid of this really quickly here and build a tube over to, let's just say we have a drill on this ship. So let me grab out a drill here really quickly and we can't actually stick the drill where I want it to be, which is rather typical. So let me go back here really quickly. And if I think this connects how I think it does, there we go. Okay, so now we have a drill and it looks very, very sketchy, but nonetheless, it will still function the same way. So say you're drilling away and you want to get all of this stuff refined but you don't want to get out of your ship to do it. What you'd simply do is inside of your ship and let me just put all this stuff in here right now just so we have the example. So just imagine this container is the drill. We come up to our collector and I'll use this collector over here. What I will simply do is I will hover above it. I will go down to my connector and I will go throw out on and then I will enable the connector and what will actually happen is my ship will actually start to spit out the resources when it is actually inside of the connector unless it has already done it no it has not so what I do is I drag it down to the connector you can actually see it dropping the stones one by one into the collector and then it goes through the refinery and then it'll stay there until I want it to go to either assembler so that is basically how it functions. I haven't actually seen the other option work just yet, which is the collect all option. I'm yet to see how that functions, and hopefully I think that is the work in progress thing that will, like I said, allow ships to actually connect to each other, which like I said, hopefully we'll see in the next few weeks. So that is it for the conveyor system. Quick overview for you guys, so you guys get a better understanding of how everything works. And as I've shown you guys before, these setups do actually work with the new conveyor systems. Though you can probably streamline it a little bit more. I did make this one over here uh, as a proof of example. You will throw the ores in here. The ores will then travel down the back. It will then connect to each of the refineries and each of the refineries will then refine all the ore and then you can choose which assembler you want the ores to actually go inside and that is basically how each of these work. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video leave a like. If you guys want any if you guys want to criticize me at all leave me know in the comments down below and i will see you guys next time thank you guys for watching this has been brad fusion and stay awesome